Hi guys, welcome to week 15 postpartum vlog. My name is Melania from Nesting with Mel and let's just dive right in. I'm gonna make this quick and short, um, not that I have a lot to discuss, it's more of the same. We're doing a lot of home projects, trying to get as much done before I start work in a few weeks and um, yeah, trying to get as much done. Um, what was different this week, um, I discovered something in my past. Um, I had an epiphany. Uh, I go see my therapist every week and um, this week in particular, a few days before my appointment, I had this kind of epiphany, aha moment of something in my past that has contributed to my anxiety today and some other things. So one of the things that I am dealing with right now, which is which adds to my anxiety, is my debt. I have a lot of debt. And you know, most Americans we all carry a lot of credit card debt, you know, student loans, that sort of thing. I have a lot of credit card debt and I paid off my credit cards in the past before but then I racked them up again and in the last few weeks actually I've been doing this kind of taking inventory of my life and looking at my habits and realizing that I have a lot of unhealthy habits that I would like to address at some point. Um, can't do them all at once, but one at a time, you know, just addressing. And one of the things is I have a hard time sleeping at night and it's, what do I think about when I'm not sleeping? I'm either thinking about my kid, my son, whether he's breathing or not. Well, I've taken care of that anxiety by, um, I got an outlet sock, which keeps track of him and monitors him and that anxiety has gone down um, but the other thing is my debt and money and um, finances those keep me up and then I realized I'm like why am I so in debt like why do I have all this credit card debt and I realized that there's about 50% of my spending is legit, like stuff we need, and I didn't have money, so I put it on the credit card and whatnot, and then, but the other 50% is stuff that I really don't need. Do I really need to go to oldnavy.com and get myself another shirt? Not really. Do I need to get more baby clothes? Not really. Um, and so, a couple weeks ago, I started doing this inventory of my life and I found um, a couple YouTube videos of decluttering and simplifying your life, that sort of thing. And I realized that I really, like all this stuff in my house drives me nuts and I would prefer a more minimalist lifestyle, so to speak. But I don't, you know, it's really hard. It's really hard um, when you have a kid and people give you things and you don't want to say no because you might need it. And that right there, that concept of we might need it, we might need this is a, um, it stems from the scarcity mindset, which I definitely grew up with that um, because we were poor, so we accepted everything. And so I, you know, accept stuff. I might use 10% of what I get from people, um, but I accept it. So, anyways, I'm rambling here, but what I realized last week or this week is that I I buy stuff because I feel there's it comes from 
the scarcity mindset, but also um, I'm not good enough. Like I'm always looking for something to fix my problems. Like um, this item will help me in some way and make me feel better. Which most of marketing, if you look at marketing, um, is very much like that. And when you are going through postpartum depression or anxiety, your feelings of inadequacy are high. And I realized after having a conversation with a childhood friend of mine, we realized that our religion and the subset of like, I don't want to say it was a cult, but it was very cult-like mentality that we were involved in, or our families were involved in, was very much, um, it triggered a lot of these things. Um, and it was the whole thing of you, the whole time of trouble, which I, I know I don't, I don't want to go into doctrine and religion stuff, but I have to give you a little bit of background. The belief structure that we were involved in had this thing that Jesus is coming like next, like he's coming, he's always coming. Like everything that's happening in the world is pointing to that he's coming soon. And there was this idea that you um, will be persecuted because of your belief and you will be, um, anyways, I never felt like I was a good enough Christian and I never felt like I was good enough. And it started out as a very young age, like my daughter's age. So I've carried that throughout my whole life. And as an adult, I've constantly sought things outside of myself to make myself good enough. But really, in reality, I am good enough, you know? And it was just such a like, whoa moment for me. Um, Cause I never thought, I've always felt inadequate all my life. The only area that I've never felt inadequate was my marriage. Um, I always felt I was good enough, a good enough wife, you know, a good enough partner. Um, that was the only area, but like in friendships, relationships, I've never ever, ever felt like I was deserving, like if people really knew who I was, you know, like the imposter syndrome. I always ha had the imposter syndrome all my life, in my career, and even currently. So even as a mom, I've always thought, oh, you know, I could be a better mom, I could be a better mom. But I know that a lot of people go through this too. A lot of moms go through this. Anyways, regardless, um, that revelation just opened up a huge area um, that I need to heal in my life and work on. And one of those is to, I want to work on paying down my debt. So up until this point, I was really dreading going back to work. However, I realized that going back to work and making money will help get me control of my finances. And so now I'm actually kind of looking forward to going back to work. Part of me, part of me still is like, no, I don't want to go to work. I wish I could win the lottery and, you know, stay home forever. But realistically, I have to go back to work. So anyways, I just wanted to share that bit. Um, I'm sure there's moms out there who probably go through the same thing and just wanted you to know that you're not alone. We are all good enough. We are good enough. I am good enough. You are good enough. And 
don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, guys, take care. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week.